Okay, now we're going to start looking at the post development for our uh, runoff calculations. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to calculate the area of the parking lot. That's 30,000 square foot parking lot. By the way, that has to be stated in acres. So I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, convert uh, square feet into square acre or into acres. And uh, also the acreage of the farmland. So the first thing is let's do the area of the parking lot. So I'm going to go to my, uh, sh my uh, formula sheet here. I'm going to go all the way up to the very first page of it. And maybe it's not the first page, but there we go. Ah, here it is. Sorry, it's uh, like the third page, my, my mistake. The third page here, and you see area, and it says one acre equals 43,560 feet squared. So, back to our problem. So, that's why I wrote uh one acre over 43,560 feet squared and from the problem we know that this parking lot is going to be uh 30,000 square feet so i'm gonna take and fill that in right here 30,000 uh feet squared now Calculator time, we're going to take and cancel this, escape out of this, and I'm going to take, uh, this is 30,000, I'm going to divide that by 43,560, so I'm going to divide that by 43,560 equals 0.688, so I'm going to round that. And that becomes 0.69 acres. Now, an important thing is uh, for later in the problem is to pay attention to the fact that this has got a number two on it. So as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to write uh, area two is equal to point Six, nine. That'll help me keep this uh, straight. Now, from our problem, we know that we have three acres of property. We're going to subtract away the 0.69. We're trying to find out how many acres of farmland we have left. So we're going to subtract away the 0.69. And again, with the calculator, Cancel that out. So I'm going to take 3 minus 0.69, and that's going to give me 2.31, 2.31 acres. And once again, just to keep things straight, I'm going to make that A sub 1 equals um, point. 2.31. So this is farm. And this is parking. And these are going to be important to keep uh, separate later on in the problem. Rainfall intensity, that is the same number as we had for the uh, pre development. And that came from that chart. So that is going to be 2.54. Now, the rainfall, uh, I'm sorry, the runoff coefficient, that again comes from that chart on the uh, formula page. And that is going to be the very same for farmland as we used uh, in the first, in the pre development problem. So that number was and remember it was an average of those two uh numbers and that was 0.18 okay 
Now, the other one here that we have to do is, and this is, and notice C1, okay? The next one that we have to do is the value for asphalt. So we're going to take a look at that one because we haven't looked at that yet. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find my calculations for this or my chart. And here we go. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. That didn't work the last time, for me, but it is this time. Good. All right. So rational method for runoff calculations. This uh, column right here, this chart. I'm going to go down until I find the word asphalt, which is right here. And when we did farmland, we took an average of the two. But here, we're going to just use the highest value for C2. So that value is going to be 0.95. And the reason we use that highest value is because we want to uh, give, whoops, come on. Here we go. There it is. We want to uh, look at the worst case scenario. Okay. Next page. So here we go. Runoff coefficient. We're going to take the C1 times the A1 plus the C2 times the A2. We're going to divide that by the area 1 plus area 2 to get the right calculations or get the calculations done here. So here it is. Oops. So C1 from over here is going to be 0.18. So on this page, I want to put in 0.18. A1 Again, from this page, A1 is going to be 2.31, 2.31 acres, plus, and this is C2, so let's see, find C2, which is the runoff coefficient, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, uh, times the acreage, which is A2, which is going to be 0 0.69. And we're going to divide that all by 3, because it's 3 acres. That was the area 1 plus area 2. That's the beginning. So if we took the 0 0.69, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll do it over here, 0 0.69 plus 2.31, we get 3 because that's the acreage that we started with. So, calculator, alt tab, there we go. And I'll hit escape. So I'm gonna take uh, 0 0.18 times 2.31 equals plus point 0.95 times 0.69 equals, I'm not sure this is going to come out right, but we'll find out. I'm going to divide that by 3, and it did come out right, because it's going to be a value of 0.36. Okay. So that is our uh, C sub C value. Now, post-development analysis. So we're going to start plugging numbers in here. And CF, that is the same value as we were using before, uh, which is 1.1. That's the value from the chart. The C value for this is going to be the 0 0.36. Uh, the I value is the intensity value. That's the same value as we've used all along, 2.54. 2.54. 2.54. 
2.54 and a is the acreage which is uh oops goofed up there is three so math it out again here on the calculator so we're going to take uh one point one times point three six times two point five four times three equals and that's we're just going to round this that's going to be three cubic feet per second so we are going to uh, calculate the change in post versus pre runoff and the runoff uh, for uh, post is the first thing and that is three that's this value that we just calculated here the uh, pre runoff was at the top of this page right here that's 1.5 minus 1.5 so our change is 1.5 cubic feet per second of runoff that is the amount of water that's going to need to be retained on the site in some way shape manner or form